Hi, and welcome to the weekly meditation for job seekers. So we're going to start by getting into a comfortable seated position. If you can sit cross-legged or in lotus on the floor, then that's awesome. It's really helpful to take, get a cushion and put that under your bottom so that your hips are higher than your knees and that can support a taller um, posture. If you, if sitting on the floor is not comfortable for you, then you can do this sitting in a chair. For the chair, you would sit towards the front of the chair with your feet flat. And again, really having a long, a long posture. And we begin by really, you know, caring about how we're grounding ourselves. Often the first step in meditation is becoming aware of, of our bodies. Because um, if you haven't been paying attention to how your body feels and moves, it's hard to even get to the diff different layers of that. So we're going to be really intentional about how we're sitting. So we're not sitting slouched. That we're sitting up as tall as we can. Imagine a string at the top of your head, pulling your head up, and it's in line and centered with your shoulders, which you're going to relax. And then relax a second time. And you have a nice long spine. Your hands are going to be on your knees or your lap. And keeping your arms a little bit close to your body, but with your hands on your knees. And we begin by finding our breath. And the way to find your breath, um, you know, you don't have to look far for it or hard for it we always have it. It's just becoming aware of it. The two easiest places to find your breath are in your belly. So feeling the rise and fall of your belly. Or some people find the breath really easy by paying attention to their nostrils and the air going in and out of their nostrils. And we're not trying to change our breath. We're fine with our breath being as it is. It doesn't need to be deeper or slower or faster. It just needs to do what it does. We're just aware of it. And the question that I would love for you to sit with today as a job seeker that sometimes we forget this, but the question I'd like you to think about is how do people benefit from my work? How have I helped people or organizations in the past to meet their goals? And how do people benefit from working with me? So for this meditation, we're just going to sit for two minutes in silence. So you can ask yourself that question. And, you know, an answer may not come to you, and that's okay. It can come to you later. Or if answering the question makes you feel, you know, less mindful because you really enjoyed finding your breath, you can go to your breath too. But for those who are, you know, looking for some guidance in their job search, sitting with the question, how do other people benefit from my work? What difference do I make? 
more people and organizations. We're going to just slowly come out of that questioning and we can sit with our eyes closed for just a moment longer. So if nothing came to you, that's okay. If you're paying attention to your breath, well, your meditation might look awesome on you. Um, and if it was painful, then I would invite you to, you know, come back and, and try it again. So throughout this week, have that question along with you and look for instances and remember times when you have made a difference for other people and for organizations and jot those down. Because it becomes much easier as a job seeker when you can go out there and say, this is the difference that I made and have an example of it than to go out and say, I want this job because. Because if you do want a job and you can say, I want this job because this is the difference I'll make for you, you can say that with a whole lot of more confidence and often that's taken better than it being about, you know, what you want and phrasing it this way helps you to see how what you want actually helps improve things for other people and organizations. Thank you so much for sitting with me today. I'll see you online elsewhere. Thanks. Bye-bye.